Okay, right? Yes. Okay, good. So this question is about distance, speed, time. Okay, so. So first you need to know the formula. So distance is equal to speed times time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So distance is equal to speed times time. Okay, so over here you have uh, Maeve drove for a distance of uh, 135 kilometer at a speed of x kilometer per hour. So in a way you can put the 135 for the distance on the left, yeah. and the speed is x. So the time. So therefore the time for this is for Maeve. So you get the time equals to 135 over x. Yes. Yeah. Good. And then uh, for char whatever. So you have the 120, and then your speed 10 slower. So 10 slower in a way is x minus 10, right? Yeah. Mm, so times t. La. So your t, the time, so in a way I can put this as time m, la, small m. Yeah. That's how you represent. So in a way, you remember the x1, y1? Uh, I put the 1 yes. below. Yeah. I don't put it on top, because if I put it on top, it looks like y square. That's not what I want right i want i want y2 right yeah. okay y2 means another y la. Yeah. okay so this is if you write in this manner it's quite clear is maeve's time then this is c's time right yeah. so it's 120 over x minus 10 okay so in a way right to, okay faster speed that means what they are the same right yeah. so equate equate these two yeah, then it equals to then cross cross multiply. Cross multiply. Yes. Multiply. Okay. Or oh, you don't get the answer, is it? You even though you cross multiply. No, because I didn't think of those. I I, I don't mm. I don't I at first I don't even have a, like a clue. A clue. Mm, yes. Okay. So like, so well, so start. you start off with the formula. Yes. Okay. So uh, in a way, right? Next time, if you have any uh unusual questions, I mean questions that you don't you don't uh find it. Um, normally then you always start with the formula okay so you start with the formula and then you try to uh, put in something that you know then you will get it all right yeah. so for this is basically just cross multiply can you do it now like get yes. the X yeah please okay. Mm, so x equal to x equal to x equals to 90. Uh, x equal to 90 and then of course the other one is um, minus 10 is uh, 80 la, yeah. right so uh, 80 will be for c then 90 will be for me right yeah. okay good so okay so just to um to um elaborate further from this so over here the speed is 90 kilometer per hour right yes. what if i ask you to convert this to meter per second what do you think can you convert yes okay do it yeah fine yeah.
Can be, can be. I don't know. I, I, yeah, can be. So just figure it out uh, using your method first. Then I will teach you a proper one. Or I will teach you the, the way I will Is do the conversion. Is it 9,000 meter mm -hmm. per 3,600 seconds? Mm, okay, yeah. So, but you need to simplify that. You need to simplify that. Yeah, so basically you okay. So the way to do this question is so you you have 90 kilometer mm -hmm. per hour means divide by one hour. Yeah. Per 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 this this per right per hour is actually per actually divide. Yeah. Okay? So that's why I divide one hour. Mm -hmm. So you just convert to meter per means over seconds. Uh. Yeah. So just convert your 90 kilometer to meter first on top, which is 90, 30 behind. Yeah. One hour is three six zero zero, like you say. So what you do is just use your calculator. Do this part, then you get the meter per second already. Okay. Yeah. So what's the answer? Uh, give me a mixed number. If it's not a proper, it's a whole number. So basically it's 900 divided by 36. Huh? So is it 25? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, it's 25, yes. Okay, so that's how you do commotion. Okay, good. Any other question? Yes, mm. that was question 7. 7. Mm. Okay, so I will say this is the uh, the new new uh, concept that uh, you need to learn. Okay, so most likely this concept will be uh, taught in your either your term three or term four. Okay, so hey, so far the few the few uh shapes that you are familiar with is um, circle, rectangle, square. Ah, okay, so let's not talk about the two D. Just now what what you mentioned right is two D. So this is rectangle. Mm -hmm. This is a square. This is circle. So this is called two D, two dimension. So now we are talking about 3D. Yes. Okay. So for 3D, right, you have the cube board, right? Yeah, cube board. Then this will give you a cube, right? Yes. Anything else? I think uh, stop at here, right? Yeah. For 3D. Yes. So, the, okay. You need to learn a lot more. Okay. For 3D, I think you will learn about the cylinder. This is called cylinder. Okay. So for three D, right? For three D, you have uh, both the volume and the area to talk about. Yes. Okay. So let's start off with the the, the, the volume of this. So the volume of a cube is L B H, right? Yes. Mm, so it's L times B times H, which is, okay. It's a re this is a recap, huh? yeah. not something new. So the surface area. Surface so area is it really depends. Okay, my way of doing this is I always do it this way. Surface so area I know there are six uh -huh. faces, right? Yeah. So I write down front and back, top and bottom, then left and right, because front and back they are the same. Mm -hmm. So front and back I just need to find the front, so which is L and H. So yeah. it's L H. So once I find one, then I times two. Does it make sense? Yes. Then for the top and the bottom, top means here lah. It's L and B, right? Yes. So it's L times B times two. Mm -hmm. So for the left and the right is H and B. So H and B times two. So after that, I just add these three up, right? Yes. That will give me the surface area, right? Mm -hmm. mm. I'm assuming it's it's a six surfaces one lah. I know some they don't have the top lid. So without the top lid, then you just ignore the top surface mm -hmm. okay so for square it works the same way uh, okay so today I think it's good to introduce the cylinder to you which is this later we'll talk about this okay so cylinder first <coughs> so okay, let's take a look at this okay mm -hmm. so this is a rectangle paper right yeah. so a rectangle paper right if you roll it up uh, it will actually give you a cylinder you already know this? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Then, okay, then easy lah. So, if this is a... Okay, so, um, let's say this is a... 
let's say this is um, I don't know maybe 22 cm yeah. then this is 4 cm for 22 4 yeah. assume now yeah. if you roll it up uh, yeah. okay so you roll it up you will get something like this so yeah. now the question is from here yeah. you put it like this uh. Uh -huh. so what you see you will see that this one uh, the height, this is called the height. The height is it 22? Yes, the height is 22. Uh -huh. okay, can you see? The height, uh, right? The, the, the height is actually the, the length. Yes. Right? Then what about this? This, this, this is a what? It's a circle. Correct. So, the circumference or the parameter of the circle is actually the? Oh. 4. Yes. So, uh, I use parameter. Uh, parameter is 4 cm which is the breadth yes. simple then mm -hmm. then you know the answer I mean um, then of course we need to talk about the surface area and the volume okay let's start off with the volume volume of a cylinder okay actually right mm -hmm. for this volume of the cuboid yeah. and the volume let me just replace this we don't need this here the volume of the cylinder i mean the cuboid and the volume of this is side times side times side right okay yeah. so this is side 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 in a way right actually the volume right for this um cuboid cube and even for this cylinder right they follow a format yes. it's called base area times the height so this s times s will give you the base area mm -hmm. the base area actually is the the top the top also because they are I, I okay when you have something like this this the top and the bottom the base is the same right I call this um, I call this the uh, uniform throughout uniform means uh, you start with a circle uh, you end with a circle. Okay? Yeah. So, same thing. Uh. You start with the base square. You end with a base, base top. Uh, top top square. You start with a base rectangle. Yes. You end with a base, base rectangle. Or top, or rectangle. top rectangle. Okay? So, therefore, this will give you the base area. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you times the height. In a way, this is also the height. So, in fact, for dung, 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 all these this tree, uh, yeah. the volume is base area times height. Okay, so if so, actually you don't need to memorize. You have one less formula to memorize already. Mm -hmm. So volume of the cylinder is base mm -hmm. area times height. For a circle area, yep. is it pi? So therefore, very good. So for this is pi r square times h. Okay. So now the question is, you need to find the r. So now, the parameter is 4, right? Yes. So, how do you get the parameter of a circle? It's 2 pi r. So the parameter is 4 cm. Yeah. So it's 2 pi r. So your r is equal to 4 divided by 2 pi. Uh, yes. uh, so you divide. So it's 2. So it's 2 over pi. Okay? Yeah. Then you sub it. No? So pi is pi. R, is, r square is 2 over pi square times h, h is 22. Mm. Just solve this off. So how? Pi times, so your square need to square the 2, you also need to square the pi. Yes. So 2 square is 4. Yes. Pi square is pi yes. square. Yes. Then times 22. Yes. And then your pi and pi square, you left with pi below. Yeah, 1 pi. Yeah, 1 pi below. So you just use the calculator and then you can get the answer. So it's 88 over pi. Of course, you'll get a yes. decimal number. Yeah. So that will be the volume. So far so good? So far so good? Yes. So done with the volume. Now, surface area. Let me just copy this. Surface area? Yeah, of this cylinder. So we are done with the volume. Huh? Yeah. 
Mm. So you cannot uh, say you don't know anymore. So you know. Mm. Hey, hold on. Hey, sorry. Uh, okay, I need to note down the radius is two over pi. Okay, good. Because I need the radius later. Mm. The radius, right? Mm. Four is. Four is the parameter. Four is the parameter. Oh Four yeah. Is the parameter. yeah. Mm. So right? it's like two radius. So it's equals ten times. Is the two radius is the diameter times yep. five, but the times pi. Yeah. So it's pi d. Mm, yeah. So, okay. Mm, yes. Okay. So radius is equal to two over pi lah. Okay. Then, but over here, right? Mm. At first, you say four equals to two pi r. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But then, at the next step. So you divide by two pi here, right? You divide by two pi here, right? So r equals to four over two pi, lah. Yeah. So you divide by two, divide by one, yeah. So it's two over pi. Lah. What? So it's like four divided by two pi. Okay. Never mind. So let's do it. On another slide. Okay, it's okay. So sometimes your brain can't run as fast as mine. Totally fine. So how do you get R? You divide by 2 pi first. Yes. Oh, then the other one also divide by 2 pi. Yep. So that it can get the same. So over here, get rid of it, divide by 2 pi. So this one divide by 2 pi is 4 over 2 pi. It goes to R. Yes. Oh, okay. Ah, then you divide by 2 on top, you divide by 2 here. One. Then you get, then you get, uh, gone, gone with this, right? Yes. Then four divided by two is, so it's two pi, no? That's how I get. So oh. basically, I just simplify, and you need to simplify. If you don't simplify, no, that's not the final answer, and you are wrong. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. So that's how I get that. Okay. Good. So now my r is this two over pi. Good. I don't need this anymore. Okay. So first thing first, I need to get. So how many surfaces in a cylinder? Three. Yes. And the top and the bottom, they are both circle and they are the same. So basically, if you find one area, you times two, both. Yes. So pi r square. Yes. So pi times r square is this two. square, right? Yes. So pi times the square will square both yeah. the bo top and bottom 4 yeah. over pi square. Yeah. So this mm -hmm. will give you pi. So 4 over pi, la, yeah. one of them. La. Right? Yes. So you need to, because this is 1. Ma. Mm -hmm. So 4 times pi times 2 is 8 over pi. Yeah. So this is the area of this and this. So it's 8 over pi. Clear? Yes. Okay, good. Then now, you need to care about the, the side. I call this the side surface. The side is the same as the rectangle area. Exactly. So you just get the rectangle area out, which is 22 times 4. Make sense? Yes. So 80, 88. Eight. So you just add these two up, you get the area. Area, uh, surface area. Yeah. Yes. Surface area. Okay? Yes. So for this paper, uh, for, for this paper, Okay, let's say lah, let's say I give you this paper and then I ask you to roll into this uh, cylinder, right? Yeah. Actually, you don't need to consider the top and the bottom because there is no, no surface. Hollow, uh, hollow. But in, let's imagine there is a lid, uh, there is a both lid lah. Uh, yeah. Then you need to consider the top and the base and the side. Yes. Uh, so it really depends. The question will tell you uh, whether they have the lid and the base or they don't have. Understand? Yes. Ah, so you just read the question accordingly to decide how many surfaces you have. Okay. Understand? Yes. Ah, so then you, then you, to to you include accordingly. Okay. So the best strategy is to find one by one. So first, I find the. I find the area of the the the, the side first. Yes. And then I find the area of the one of them. So you just add accordingly, yes. Okay. So this sums up the surface area of a uh, cylinder okay and of course the volume of the cylinder we talked about it uh, i think one slide the previous slide 
Okay? Mm, good. So, just now, I remember I talked about cuboid, cube, and cylinder. They are uniform throughout, right? Yes. What about this? Is it uniform throughout? Yes. Can't you see this is tapered? Like, can you see it's like Your uniform big, is like uniform straight, is straight, go yeah. up. Like and this is a little bit like this is tapered. Yes. This is tapered, no. So this is not uniform. Yeah. This is not uniform. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uniform means must be consistent. Straight. Uniform means consistent. Okay? Consistent. So it's just like uh, this is not consistent, right? Can you see? It's tapered. Tapered at the bottom. Yeah. Okay? Then uh okay. Ignore the ears. This one is quite uniform, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is considered a cylinder. This is not considered a cylinder. This is not a this is, this is a cone or something like that. Yes. Okay? So this is not tapered. I mean this is not uniform. So you cannot use the base time height. This one you also cannot. It's not uniform, right? Yes. Can you see? It's tapered at the top. Yes. Right? Like like a carrot like that, you know? Okay? So this volume formula is for base times height for a uniform figure. Yes. Okay? So things are not, not uniform, cannot. So in a way, right, for this question, <coughs> then uh, I think you can solve for the first one now. Try. Mm. Oh, uh, cannot. Because you need to find out the, 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 the volume for this one first. They say this whole thing uh, is melted and then convert to this. Okay? But anyway, never mind about this question first. I don't want to go to this question first. Because this one uh, is a different uh, figure. Actually, this one is considered a prism. Okay? So prism have another formula. But for your level, I think so far, I think it's good to know the cuboid, cube, and cylinder. Okay? So for your level, this three first. Okay, so this question I uh, ignore first, but uh, you need to know this one, huh? Yes. Okay. Any question? I need two. Question two. Question two, ah. Uh. Yeah. Let me go back, ah. Uh. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Construct. Oh yes, this one requires the projector and compass. Uh, do you already have a projector or compass? I have it, but I didn't bring it. Never mind. So I'm going to uh. Uh, just um, let, me see, let me see if I can do it online. Maybe I can. Hold on. Now. Hey, no. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, so, uh. You can see right some of the some okay these are some of the compass lah huh? I don't know which one you have but generally I prefer this type. What okay let me sh tell you why I prefer this type. Can you see the needle is quite long? Yeah. There are there are there are uh compass uh, their 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 needle is very short so it's not so easy to draw. Okay? So uh yeah I, I, I think I have this but I need to search for it. Maybe during the break I search for it and see if I have. Okay, let me see. Online virtual compass. Let me see. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Sorry, ah. Uh. Yeah, something is not right. Very, very... Um, mm, okay. I think this... This is the one I can... Okay, yeah. I can do it here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let me just put it aside. Okay, so over here it says consult at ABC such that AB is 5.5. .5. So 5.5 .5 is very easy. Lah, straight line. Lah. So 5.5 .5 is... Uh, By the way, this is my first time using this, uh, so if I make a mistake, uh, please just bear with me. Okay, so this is 5x5, five five. Mm -hmm. then you label this as AB. Okay, next. BC is 10, and then AC is 5x5. Five five. Ha, 
did, here comes the part. So they never tell you the angle, right? Yeah. But they just tell you the length, right? So you need to use the compass, which is here. So you need to get BC equals to 10. So in a way, you need to measure 10. So the needle is here yeah. at the zero. Then uh, over here, drag to 10. Wow, Max, maxed out already also cannot. Okay, so just bear with me now. Okay, let me see. Okay, hold on. Let me just... No, uh, maxed out already. Okay, maxed out is nine, right? Mm -hmm. mm, okay, so just bear with me. Uh, just take nine now. Okay. So I'm going to uh, mm. do. Okay, so bring it down. Wait, no. Okay, let me restart. Okay, let me restart. First thing first, get a get a line five by five. Okay, label A B. They say what? Uh, B C is nine. Huh? Let's consider this nine lah. Huh? Nine C M because maxed out. Still cannot get. Here, mm -hmm. then uh, the nine is here, right? Yeah. Okay, the nine is here. So what you need to do is you bring, you bring these two. They say B C, right? Yeah. So you bring the needle uh, of of this tier two. You place it on the B, yeah. and then you start to draw uh. Up, you see that's the problem. I changed the. I changed the the length already. Yes. That's always the, the 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 thing that you have to uh make sure you don't do. Okay, so don't. Okay, so let me. Okay, come back to this. Drag it to nine. Okay, good. So now I'm going to bring it up. Bring the B. Mm -hmm. Then I start to. Okay, so what this means is the the BC uh, mm -hmm. is always nine cm away. away from this point B. That means your point C uh, is definitely on this R. One of the points on this R. Mm -hmm. Which point? It depends on this AC is five by five. So I need to get five by five out. Mm -hmm. So let me come back to these two. Um, I'm going to move it. So I need a five by five, right? Yeah. Mm, so I need to move it five by five. So five by five is here. Okay. Then I, I start draw drawing lah. Start drawing. So. Psst, done. So can you see that they meet here? Yes. Okay, good. So just mark this point. This is your point C. Uh -huh. So you have to draw from here to here. This will give you AC is 5.5. Mm -hmm. BC is uh, B 9. Is nine. Yeah, yes. Simple? Yes. Yeah, that's how you, how you uh, get the... Yeah, get it, get 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 it done. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you just have to construct the perpendicular bisector of AC. Uh, this part, this part, I think it is not tested yet. Okay, angle bisector is still not. Okay, perpendicular bisector means okay. Bisector means cut half lah. Mm -hmm. Cut half. Then angle bisector means the, the angle cut half. But at the moment, I don't think you need to learn these two. But definitely the part part part. 2A definitely you need to, okay. to, 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 to do. So next next week probably you can bring your this uh, compass and uh, projector uh, here. Then we will start to play with it. I can give you a few questions and then you practice. Okay. Okay? Yes. Mm, okay, good. Mm. Okay, can. Yeah. Mm. Um, I also need...
Yeah, I sure. Have some questions. Mm, sure, yeah. You can look at your work, yeah. Let me also look at some of the questions and see which one is interesting. How about the tally? Yeah, this question I the Tally, question. okay, good. Which question? Um, the tally question and the question. Like which question? Question number three. Three, okay. You mean this one? Uh, okay. You mean question no. two? Uh, the other one. The other two, okay. Mm, the other one. This one? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so for this question, okay, this is under statistic. Okay, statistic is the last chapter of your term, term, term four, I think. Um, yeah, like, yeah, uh, your, the last chapter of your this year one now. So, statistic is like, so let's say if, uh, let's say, um, uh, over here is the mark score by a class 20 student. Yes. So 20 student, then you know, uh, one of them score 49, then 46, 69, 61, then you know, just record. Yeah. Okay. So basically this is the record. This is a record. So after you record, right, then you want to, like, you want to get the, this survey results, right, into some manageable, manageable format. So one of them is a table. This is a table. So for you to like, like, like so-called summarize the results. So tally and frequency. So frequency, okay, if you know the English definition of frequency is, let's say, how frequent you go to Nen or, or uh, Jing Xuan's house, yeah. maybe once a week. Mm -hmm. That's one. Uh. Uh, so that's the meaning of frequency. Uh. So in a way, right, so between this range, can you see that it's a bigger and equal? That means 45 also in this range. So in this range, right, how many of this one occur in this range? So the meaning of tally is the... Okay, later, later we talk about tally, frequency first. So you count, no? So the... This one, yes. So 49, yes. So 1. So, okay, so this one, yes. 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 50, no, because it's smaller, ah. Uh. Smaller. Yes. Yes. No. Okay. No. Yes. 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 Okay, good. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 7, no? Yeah. Right? So the tally is for you to, to, to mark it. So in Chinese, right, we use the 正字, ah. Uh, so it is about 5 times. Uh -huh. But in English, right, we use this. So over here, you... 5. And another two. Oh yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, so you just tabulate for the rest. Oh. Yeah. Can you do it now? Yeah. I did it. Yep. You... I was not sure, but oh, okay. I did it. So let, let's look at your answer first. Okay, over here, right? Yeah. Mm, okay, good. So, uh, what about part B? Part B, mm. I think it's the misconception is the drawing. Oh, okay. So, okay, so they, what they ask? Uh? They ask like what is the possible misconception of the above ah. that how would you modify ah, it? Ah, ah. So how will you modify that? I was thinking of like maybe like, ah. like writing down the like writing down the bus and the okay. car and ah. writing the number beside it. Uh -huh. So that it can be clearer and ah. you don't need to count it. Okay. Yeah. What is so misleading about this? I see three buses. Yeah. And I see four cars. So what is so misleading about this? You say, what's, what, what's the mis... They say what uh, possible misinterpretation, right? So what's, what's, what's so misleading? Anything misleading about this? Is it the drawing? Sometimes the drawing mm -hmm. can be very similar and mm -hmm. like misleading. What's a possible misinterpretation that will both data and how will you modify? So how, how, how will you modify this? Same same size is it? Um, no. Then? I, uh, like if I modify, can I change it? Like not like I don't want to draw it out anymore. Like no, it must be a pictogram. Maybe it must be in picture. Oh. Yeah. Then label them on top. No, I okay. I don't know how you okay because like okay this kind of question like, is a is a I will say it, there was no uh there was no definite answer. As long as you can explain, then 
and your explanation makes sense, then uh, they will accept your answer. So in a way, right? Okay. The the one thing I find this one misleading is, okay. Um. Let me say, contact us with among those who travel to school either by bus. He displayed that they collected with a token so we go. So, what I see here is, I see three buses. And I see four cars, and somehow, right, the 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 size of the car is smaller and then the size of the bus is bigger i think is it makes sense like oh, a bus is bigger ma. a bus is bigger than a car it, it makes sense but i would like i would like this one to space out to space out so that the four cars right it is okay the four cars here looks like you know uh visually uh, visually it does not make sense uh. you squeeze the, the car together so in a way right i will prefer uh you know like, in like a way uh, one I, I, bus below is one car then one bus below is one yeah maybe okay so i can actually do it here so hold on uh. I'm going to get this out. Okay, so I can do it this way. Okay, no, no car. So, probably I can do it like this, then like this, like this. Like this. If not bigger, I will space them out. Let's say I I I need to stick to the size. Uh. Let's say I need to stick to the size. I will space them out a little bit more. Just to show that, it's just to show that uh the number of cars right is more than the number of uh, buses. Okay. So, okay. So now, the thing is. Uh, what's about it missing the above data? So in a way, right, over here, right, they they will uh so among a group of students who travel to school either by bus or by car. So by bus, right? So uh, of course you can count lah, you can count. But what is the best visual representation representation of this data is you want to show that the the number of cars, right? Yeah, it's more than the number of buses. That means people, I mean, a student prefer taking cars than, 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 than buses. Okay. So when when you when you represent it like like what I what, what okay, you must start start from the same 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 uh same place, but in a way right, it's very clear cut like your car is more than the buses. Right. You you space them out until the the car is ahead of the buses not like this i know you can count but visually uh visually is like eh, about the same you know ah so like that uh, so just space them out a little bit so that uh the the, the number of cars is ahead of the uh, the, the, the the buses okay can okay? yeah so there is no definite answer here as long as you can explain your um your reason then uh, you should get the marks okay mm. okay mm. okay good oh actually there is another misinterpretation and that one makes more sense which, which is that means you know they ask okay let's say i ask uh three students okay this is one two three four five seven so basically seven seven students uh, is student one two three four five six seven right mm -hmm. there was there was nothing wrong with the there was nothing wrong with the car but something is not right with this do, do you know that they they say they want to take bus right yeah. 
in a way, right, it's like they want to tell, oh, one student take one bus, the other take one bus, then they take another bus. It's like, um, they might think that um, one, one, one uh, the entire bus can take maybe 20, 20 people. Huh? Yeah. Then, then in order to bring the three students uh, to the school, uh, in fact, uh, you can bring 60 students. Okay, so it's quite misleading here. Okay, Why? so maybe. Actually, my understanding is okay. Uh, let's say you go to your school by bus, right? Yeah. I know you come from different, um, you come from different, uh, homes, right? Yeah. So generally, you take let's say you take bus fourteen, I take bus eighteen. And the other person take a uh, bus twenty, yeah. right? So uh, it's three different buses. Yes. But in a way, right over here, right, you one bus, you take this bus is fourteen, but this fourteen, right, it take many people. Yeah. Ah, uh, so in a way, right, uh, this one bus, right, represent twenty people, not just one person. If you read here, if you read three buses, uh, if you look at the capacity of each bus is 20, 20, 20, so basically, right, you might misinterpret like, oh, this survey uh, actually take 60 students because the capacity of one bus is 20. But they didn't say like the amount of students. Yes, so what I'm trying to say is as long as you can explain, you can explain. Mm -hmm. Because some stu some some people that might they might misinterpret like oh, one bus, then the capacity of one bus is about twenty. So are you telling me your this survey is taking taking what? Okay, imagine this is four. Ah. Yeah. So four is one two three four four times four sixteen. So sixteen students. Yeah. Then here is twenty. Mm -hmm. So twenty twenty. So it's sixty right? Sixty times, uh, sixty plus. Sixty plus. So this is four times four is sixteen right? So this is uh, 20 times 3 is 60, right? Mm -hmm. So you are, if you never, I mean, if the, the, the student never explained to me, I'm thinking uh, this survey is about 76 students. Uh -huh. Instead of 7 students. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So this is the one of the possible misinterpretation. Okay. Yeah, this question is very good. Okay, okay. Okay, good. <laughs> oh. Hi. Mm, no problem. Next. Um, I need the uh, section A. That yeah. Part. Section A of question. Uh, is the. Wait, let me find it. Hmm. Is the question about. Mm -hmm. Wait, can you, can you make it? I think. Mm. I don't know that word. That number, I forgot the mm. number. When you, when, you, when you see the question, I will stop. Uh, no, not this question. Yeah, this question. Question 11. 11 or 10? 10, 10, 10, 10. 10. Okay, good. Start with 10. So I explained clearly in the space provider, x is 40. So how do you get 40 here? So that's what they want. Yeah, but so start off with 65 here. No? I, got the, I got the working. Yeah. But I don't know how to like... Are you just... Like reasoning the oh, for, for set 1... On words, right? You need to write down the reason. So let's say I, I start with this, ah. Huh? So um, so you label lah, huh? You can label here as uh, le angle one, nah. So angle one equals to sixty five degree. Um, so sixty five, sixty five, because it's a corresponding angle. C O R R. You need to write down the reason, nah. So set one on word, you need to write down the reason. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is. Parallel lines, this is 1 and 2, so angle 1 is greater than angle 2, so this is F. I call this is F. So this is corresponding angle. The reason. Yes. Yeah, you have to remember, you have to write the reasons, okay? So this one. What is this angle called? Which one? I'm going to do, I'm going to do it now. So this is my C. Can you see it's a C? 
Oh. So it's angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180. This is called internal INT. Just first three letter, internal angle. Okay? Then of course you have the Z. Yeah. So angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So this is called alternate ALT. Ah, okay, then the last one is opposite. Okay, so you have to memorize all these four. So it is mm. corresponding. Yeah. In internal. Internal. Yeah. Alternate. Alternate. Ah, this is your Z. Internal, this is your C. This is your F, and then this is your X. So it is um, corresponding. Opposite. Yeah. Internal. Yeah. Alternate. And alternate. Alternate. And corresponding. The corresponding oh, is here. No, opposite. Opposite, right? yes. Oh, okay. Okay. F C Z X. Uh. Okay. okay. Then that's it. Uh. Okay. Then of course you can find out this, right? 180 minus the 65 minus. So 140 this is 40. So 40 and 40, this is your Z. Uh. Yeah. So 40 is yeah. So alternate. X is 40, so it's alternate. Uh. Yeah. A L T. But by the way, the angle you can do it this way or you can do it this way. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. That's how. Eleven. Yes. Mm. Decagon. So, uh, the sum of interior angle formula. By the way, I don't I don't memorize it, so I just do it on the spot. So, triangle, right? What's the sum? 180, right? Mm -hmm. Quadrilateral, what's the sum? Uh, 360. 360, yes. So the formula is n minus 2 times 180. And n is the number of sides. Okay, number of sides. So 4, uh, let's say 4 sides, right? Yeah. 4 minus 2 times 180, 2 times 360, yes. yes. So that's the formula. Okay, so now with this, I can do the this question already. Three mark. They say what? The sum of the interior angle of the decagon ten side. Ah, then I can do already. So it's ten minus two times hundred eighty. So greater than the sum of the interior angle another really regular polygon by this Ah, so you can uh, get me the ten sided first. Uh. Okay. So eight times hundred eighty. What is that? Eight times hundred eighty. One four four zero. So it says yes, it's more than the other one by zero. So it's one four four zero minus four five four zero is nine hundred, right? Mm. So it's just n minus two times hundred eighty equals to nine hundred. I think this is seven. Uh -huh. N equals to seven. Yeah. Okay. Because five times hundred eighty is nine hundred, mark. So n is seven, no? So the number of sides for the the other one is seven. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yes. Mm, yeah. Okay. So the sum of interior angle formula, which is this one, you have to memorize. By the way, you don't have to because you can get it on the spot. Any other question? Bef uh, before I give I, you. I, can, can you move? Mm, okay. Uh, I need question six. Mm. So for this question, right? Um, I think we talk about this type of uh, number. Okay, so you, if you remember the real number three, right? Do you remember the real number three? You yeah. want you want to draw the real number three out? Come on. Number three. Real number three. Oh, three. Okay. Okay. Number three. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this real number three it will help you in this question. Ah, uh, this type of question. You remember? Ah, uh, so get the real number three out first. Okay. Yeah. So. It will help you for the question 5 and the 6 later.
irrational and the rational. Rational and irrational, yeah. And give two examples for irrational. Yes, who's that? Uh, ah, please put it outside. I mean, there is a drawer okay. or something. Yeah, please. For in irrational, yeah. there is decimal, integer, and fraction. For irrational? Rational, rational. Oh, okay, yeah. So in a way, right, you have decimal, integer, and fraction, yes. And then you branch out the, the integer, yeah. Integer, there's a bunch up. There is negative. Mm. Mm. For integer mm. inside the integer, mm. there is rational, irrational. Uh, no, for mm. integer, mm. there is whole number. Opposite. Positive in zero and negative. In. Yeah. 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 So it will be negative zero, positive. Huh? Let me see. Okay. Look good. So uh, th this is called real number three. So rational, irrational, irrational is. This is square root two. two. Okay. Good. Three also can lah. Yeah. Pi. Okay. What's the definition of irrational? Like? Irrational means it doesn't have it doesn't have a re like hmm. it doesn't have a pattern yep. when there's like. Yep, yes. When you have a number in this mm -hmm. like Okay, so basically, short and sweet keyword, no pattern, non stop. Right? Yes. Yeah, no pattern, non stop. Yes. Okay? Okay, good. So, in a way, right, decimal, right? Actually, the decimal, right? This is decimal. Yeah, uh -huh. this one? Yeah. Why? Because there is a pattern, you know? Ah, 0 0.5757 57, continue, right? Yes. Okay, so very good. So later we need to use that, but let's do this first. So this 0 0.57 we are dot dot above, right? So it's yeah. under the decimal. Yes. Okay? And it's a rational number. So for this one, so you just uh, write down a few out. So if you go to 0 0.57, 5757, then you dot dot dot. Okay, so hundred times this ah, uh, is actually hundred times the zero point five seven five seven five seven dot dot dot. So in a way, right? This is you just go two so seven five five seven dot dot. Yes. And then you just minus the so it basically you, you be, so it's by fifty seven Fifty seven. Yes. The answer is fifty seven. Yes, okay. because your fifty seven fifty seven. 0.57 it repeats right yeah. it minus the 0 0.57 repeat right can you see you are left with 57 yes yeah so is your answer 57 um, yeah because I did it. you did it yeah. so what's I'm your answer sure I asked uh, you did not do the second part oh, yeah, I didn't. yeah the showing your working express hey you need to show this in the Show the you need to show the fifty seven point five seven in the this format. Oh, don't, don't. They want repeated, okay? So yes. yeah, you cannot show like this. Okay. You must show in this format. Yes. That means if next time uh, you get zero point six 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 right, you must represent it as zero point six with a dot above. Remember this, yeah. Remember this, because if you because you you have learned how to represent an pattern non-stop number right mm -hmm. 
then you have to make use of it. Okay? Yeah. Then I think some question they, they give you as this. Uh, 0 by 1, 0, 1. Then they put the 1. Yeah. Actually, they don't put it here. That means it's still 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. You know? Yes. Okay? okay? And I also mm. have a, mm. a 14. Question 14. Question 14. Ah, okay, good. Oh, a lot of question. Very good. Okay, thirty. Uh, no, so no, no, parameter. Thirty. Thirty. Oh. The outcome. The question. Mm. Yeah, this question. Mm. Because both of them are now negative. What is the not that 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 key rule for inequality? Inequality is that mm. if there is one number that is negative, is the sign in between. Ah, when when you switch the sign, yes. Yeah. When. When after you divide. Mm -hmm. the Mm -hmm. Then you have to switch the side of this. Okay, I did not give you that statement. I think you somehow forget that's why. So the statement is switch the inequality sign when times or divide by a negative number. You just have to remember this statement. Can you read this out? One more time. Switch mm. the inequality sign mm. when times, times or divide, divide by a negative number. Correct on both sides. You just have to tell me whether you, you have times or divide by a negative number or not. Yo ma? Yo. Yo. So you need to change it. Switch. Yes. So you just need to switch off. So so even Instead of bigger, smaller. So if even if both are negative. Hold on, ah, you get minus two x. Ah, not this is minus three x. Yeah. This is. Yeah. It should be minus three x. Oh. Okay. So it's not minus two x. This is simple mathematics, ah. So you divide by negative three, right? Mm -hmm. On both side, right? Yeah. Right. On both yeah. side, right? Yeah. It fits this uh statement, right? Mm -hmm. Then I get a uh, three here. Then I get x here, then switch, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's x more than 3. Okay. Okay, then of course, how do you represent? Okay, how do you represent x more than 3? So you know how, you, you know why I switched the sign, right? Yes. The inequality sign, right? Okay, good, because I divide by a negative, negative 3 no. on both sides. So, identify three first. Okay, so uh, actually you might not need to uh, show one, two, three. La. Actually, okay. Uh, okay, if you show also can. One, two, three, four, five, right? Mm -hmm. So your three is here, right? First thing first, do you have an equal sign here? Um, like, do you have this? No equal sign. So it's hollow. If it, if it, this is hollow. If it's an equal sign, uh, let's say, you, no, let's say, let's let's say you you need to do um. Let's say you need to do um, yeah. Let's say you need to do x uh small than five. Later I will do x small than five. Uh. so it, there is no equal sign, so it's a hollow. Yeah. So smaller than three, left or right? Um, smaller than three. Is ah, left, left or right? Left. Okay, good. So just point to left. So this is your x small than three. So if you need to do x more than 5, so because there is an equal sign, so it's a solid. Okay? Yes. Because it's equal sign. Mm -hmm. uh, smaller, so left or right? Smaller is left. Yes. So just do this. Okay, that's it. Yes. So I have represented this and this. Both. Of course, this question does not require the, this one, but I just okay. demo to you. Okay? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. So remember, you must uh, divide or times a negative number on both sides. On both sides. One side only. Okay? So on both sides. Then switch. Yes. Okay? Okay, good. So first half.